Hello Vault Dwellers and welcome back to the next episode of our Fallout 3 Let's Play series. You join me here on the pier in Point Lookout where we need to start exploring this place. Now, as far as I know, this pier, Pilgrim's Landing, is always safe. I don't think I've ever been attacked while I've been here. But there could always be a first time. So I do like to be a little bit careful. I think we've got some lockers over there that I normally store stuff in. But other than that, that is about all there is there. So I think we can safely head back this way and meet the lovely lady that resides back here and is a vendor for us. Now, I do know later in the game, we do have an attack in there. But for right now, it should be safe. And I think there's some dogs over that way. As long as we stay over here, we should be okay. The house of wares so yeah definitely we have a robot to protect us let's put our gun away Ooh, yeah stealing panda well hello there young traveler the fates had told me that i would receive a visitor today but i'm being rude i am madam panada and this is madam panada's house of wares for all things a traveler needs, I am here to provide. Bullets, stim packs, armor, weapons, junk. If you need it, Madame Panada has already anticipated your need and procured it months ago. Well, I'm so sorry for calling you Panda. Madame Panada. And all she does is repair and sell. So what do you have? All oh, never Panada's mind. You have that. Quality. Do I need... I don't... Yeah, we'll take those as well. Alright, well, she had some 308 ammo on her, as well as some darts and some 32. So I don't want to bleed her caps dry right now, because I don't know how long we are going to be here. So I will hold on to those like that for now, and I have to go. Fair travels, young one. Alrighty, well, aw. Poor little teddy bear being held hostage here in this nasty environment. So I think what we should do for now is get in our sneaky position and be very, very careful. I would like to head over towards the motel for right now. I'd like to go back through this way. Ooh, there was a smuggler back here. Looks like he got blown up. Oh, just what we need. Mines. As if I didn't bring enough of them with me. Oh, nice. Is there anything else hiding back here? Oh, yeah, here we go. Nice, some shotgun shells. Alright. That looks pretty good to me. Let's head out this way and get our first look of the destruction and wilderness. The Naval Recruiting Center. Sure. Oh, bad roaches. I don't think anyone's here. Other than the roadshow, so I think we're pretty good to look around. Ooh, what do you have? A double barrel shotgun. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that for now. Maybe if it gets repaired up, it might uh, come in handy for some close quarters action. I don't see much of anything. Now, fission batteries are a thing in this DLC. You can collect them 
along with yeast and you'll get you'll be able to drop them off for a side quest later I probably won't be doing that because it's literally a fetch quest oh I'll take that mini nuke oh we have a safe can we get in it through the terminal so I don't really feel like we need to really do that one unless I end up changing my mind so oh I know what this is about all right so um, person of interest we are gonna have to come back here and read this I think later so I'm not gonna bother with it for now there we go an axe Ooh, well we can repair that up right now. Let's see uh, what it gets us. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to look at this double barrel shotgun. Seventy nine. That's actually pretty good, but you've got to be really close to whoever you're trying to shoot and optimally we don't want to be close to anyone we want to stay as far back as we possibly can I think that's all the rad roaches nothing else here alright so we're actually gonna to have to come back here to check out that terminal at another time it wouldn't make any sense I don't think to read it quite yet Oh, we got a bloat fly over that way. And something over there, something hanging in a tree. Oh, a little mole rat. Hey, a little mole rat. Now, I do know that Point Lookout's enemies, enemy levels, and what spawns are related to your level. So, like, the lower the level you come, the easier the enemies. So we are coming level 20. Ooh, look at that pretty dart. So I don't quite know how tough these enemies are going to end up being, but I'm sure we should be able to deal with them without any problem. Can I get in back here? No. I may not. We need to figure out where this covert ma culvert mansion up that way, but we don't want to go there yet. I want to find the motel. Could be over that way. Let's uh, I want to check this mailbox real quick before I head there, though. No, a lot of yeast apparently. the mansions up there I don't know how you can tell that there's actually smoke coming from it it is extremely foggy out oh this place I know this place this place is trapped out of heck and back but there is some good stuff laying around that's gonna hurt did not see that. Oh, we might as well fix that one. We got plenty of stem packs. Bunch of beer. We can take a nap if we need it. Some ammo. Nice. Alright, what else we have here? Ah, well... Here we go. Get our stem packs back that we just had to use. Ooh, looky looky what I found. I like grenades.
All right. Well, those guys are going to go off. Although, I, we may be high enough. Is it all three of them? No, I think it's just this one. I did it. We did it. Yes, we are high enough level to disarm those now. Do I need to activate that one? No. Okay, so can we get a closer look at what's inside these? Oh, yeah, we can. Very evil uh, invention there. All right, let's go into the warehouse. Oh, holy bubbles. We better save. Yeah, this is a lot of um, baby carriages. There we go. How many more are right, like right beside me? I think those ones are okay, so we can grab that. This never goes well for me. I always end up getting myself blown up. Right, let's figure out which is the next one that needs to uh, be disarmed if I can. Not that one. Not that one. Oh, this is tricky. Yeah, there we go. Some light helps. There's one right there. Oh, that was so close. So close indeed. Missiles, nice. Those so really good. Oh, look at all those missiles just hanging out there. All right. Um, I think that's it. Are there any other baby carriages I need to disarm? I don't think so. I think we're good. All right. Well, we can get out of here then. Holy baubles. I didn't believe we made it through here. Oh, wait a minute. I see that. There we go. Anything in there? Oh, yeah. There we go. Nope. I will sell that buff out. All right. Let's get out of here before we accidentally do blow up. Oh, I missed that one. Whoa. Yep, there we go. I think this is the first time I've made it through here without getting blown up. Nice. Whew. That was close. Very close indeed. It's always a bit of a rush going into that building. <laughs> Oh, a confederate hat. That is a new item. So we will at least grab... I'm going to go ahead and grab those so I can repair it up. Are the workmen's coveralls, are they new? I don't know. I don't think I've seen them before. Let's check around back this way. And I think we've made a full circuit around here. Yes, we have. Okay, fair enough. For now, let's continue heading back this way. And we can explore back over into this little area of the map. I think maybe the motel is down over that way, so let's head definitely that way. Is another mailbox? Could be. Or is that the one I already looked in? And maybe the one I already looked in. Yeah, it is. 
All right. Well, we have that building over there. Wow. I think I've only done the Point Lookout DLC twice. So bear with me if I have a little bit of a hard time trying to remember where everything's at and how everything goes. It's kind of the, the fun of exploring. I don't think that's going to do anything for me. This is the hotel that we need right here. All right, fair enough. And it looks like we have some stuff in here. Yeah, the Homestead Motel. Let's stop in and see exactly how good these beds are. Yes, we do have some wild doggos that we can quickly get rid of. There we go. I think that's all of them. All right, let's uh, find the main office here. Are these all the rooms? I think these are all the rooms on this side. So is the main office out front here? Maybe. Let's go check over here. Alright guys. Well, I've had a look around the outside of the building. And there is one um, motel room in the back that we can go in. And I think several of those there. I didn't look around the interior there. But for now, let's start with the Homestead Motel office. And it appears that we are safe for the minute. Yes, I think so. More fission batteries. I would take a few of those, but they are really quite heavy. Another double barrel shotgun. That seems to be the weapon of choice right here. And, okay, there's the homestead room 1K. That one is around outside and in the back. Let's see, what do we have here? We need to get in there. There's the key to room 1G. We have some jet. I think we're good there. Locker's empty, and I'm not going to grab the yeast. It's heavy as well. There we go. Another double barrel. Scotch, a shovel. Okay. Well, nothing much really in there. Can I repair those? Those are... Can I make it any better? Yeah, up to 84. That's some pretty good damage. Close up. Well, all that's repaired up. So I guess we can go and check these rooms out. I don't need that. Don't think I need another set of those. All right, let's uh, bobble on out of here. So I think the first one we're going to go into is it 1G, I think it was. Looks like that could be it there. And there's one over there as well. Let's start with this one. That's 1D. Yeah, let's start there. Okay, nobody's in here. Looks like somebody died. And we have a Chinese pistol. So are you a Chinese spy? A locker key? Okay. A stealth boy. Another fission battery. Man, they are just throwing those at us. Welcome to USA Dr. Ying. I apologize that I cannot receive you in person, Agent Ying. Our Norfolk 
contact confirms your arrival, how eager the Americans are to believe that a great mind of the people would defeat would defect. Our countrymen will herald you as a hero when your work is done. To that end, let us turn to the details of your mission. This room will be your safe house and point lookout. Focus initially on playing the American lapdog. Do not arouse suspicion. When it is safe, use the key you were given in Norfolk to open one of the public rental lockers on the boardwalk near the motel. You will be provided with the password you'll need to access your mission dossier. Something Agent Ying. I guess good luck, Agent Ying. Okay. The Velvet Curtain. Oh, well, let's start that. There we go. So the main mission here is investigate the mansion, but we are going to go ahead and start working on this one. This one's kind of fun. I do like this. So I think what I need to do, though, is bobble up here. And we want to take the cryptomatic spectacles out of the toilet. And we don't need those right now, but we can certainly hold on to them. And I looked in there. So I think we've done everything in this room that we can. Let's go over here and check out this next room. Oh, wow. Okay, looks like a lot of money on the ground. Were these people trying to uh, rob a bank or did they rob the bank? Another double bear, I'll take it. That TV is in really good looking condition. All right, nothing in there. I mean, yeah, it definitely looks like these guys robbed a bank. Or at least robbed something and then shot each other. A shot, sawed-off shotgun. Okay. Well, it looks like they tried to double-cross each other after the bank heist. Hmm. Figures. All right. I think that, that is it for all the rooms here. We can head to the back and check out the last room. All right, we have made it to room 1K. Oh, holy baubles. Well, that's a sight you don't see every day, isn't it? Put a little light on the subject. Holy heck. Three pre-war books. Holy bobs, that's pretty good. Any notes or anything around here to explain this? Doesn't appear to be. Hmm. I think that's a bottle. So let's take a look in the bathtub and we can get the pint size slasher mask if we want to uh, run around the wasteland as the pint size slasher or, well, at least sort of look like him and a grown-up version of it the funny thing is is in when we were in tranquility lane we could have pretended to be the pint size slasher if we had fallen in with betty's plans but i did not want the big negative karma loss that would have gotten us so what i need to do now is head over to the lockers here on the pier and actually, I think we're good. We've killed everything here. I think we're good to run back for the minute. Don't think anything's going to attack. And if they do, Mr. Protectron is here to save us. Move along. I am moving quite along. Thank you very much. So I 
do you believe these are the lockers she was talking about? Nothing in that one. There we go. So now we have box 1207 spy audio password. And like I said, I normally use this place as a dumping ground. So let me do that. I don't want that. All right, guys. So I've done all that. I've dumped everything that we don't need to be carrying around right now. So let's look at this note. Go to the bank and use the password Xin Chan Weng. The software is configured to recognize only our voices. Okay. I apologize that I cannot receive you in person, Agent Zhang. Our Norfolk contact confirms your arrival. How eager the Americans are to believe that a great mind of the people would defect. Our countrymen will herald you as a hero when your work is done. To that end, let us turn to the details of your mission. This room will be your safe house in Point Lookout. Focus initially on playing the American lapdog. Do not arouse suspicion. When it is safe, use the key you were given in Norfolk to open one of the public rental lockers on the boardwalk near the motel. You will be provided with the password you'll need to access your mission debriefing. The agreed upon payment will be paid upon extraction. Hyun, Agent Zhang. So I suppose we should go and find the bank. Should be back along this way somewhere. I dumped a whole bunch of stuff off in the locker that we just don't need to carry. And I probably already said that, but that's okay. Let's get back in our sneaky position and see if we can find this bank. Let's go check over this way. We haven't been all the way down here. Although I don't think that's it. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Oh, nice. Okay, so our explorer actually opened them all up for us. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Here's our bank right here. People's Bank of Point Lookout. I am glad I thought to look at that. Oh, what do we have here? Activate one of wanted person of interest. Bulletin. Attention citizens of Point Lookout. Wang Yang, suspected communist and Chinese sympathizer, has been reported in the vicinity of Point Lookout. Agent Yang may be operating under an alias and or using a disguise. You are required to report any suspicious persons or behavior to Lieutenant Frumzel, Crum, Crumfrols at the U.S. Naval Office located at 1811 St. Mary Branch. Nice. So let's get into the bank. And it looks like we have roaches again. Turn the light on. Oh, I thought that was a police baton. Oh, I wonder if these are the police that may have died during the bank robbery. Because it seems like that was like pretty close to the day the bombs fell. Yeah, we got some dead peeps in here. A bank deposit box. Ah, here we go. A backup password. Okay, well, let's see what that is. The audio password for my box is nevermore. Nevermore, huh? Okay. And then just the bulletin. The note to Nadine, my darling little Nate, I know life wasn't always the best at home. And we've had a few rough winters. I don't blame you for running off to find something better at your age. You think you're wasting away at home while the world's just waiting for you to come get it. 
when I was about your age, I ran off from my mom to you. And even though there were some terrible things along the way, it ended with me having you. So I can't complain. I just wish you could have seen your grandmother. I wish I had a chance to see her again myself. If you're reading this, I just want you to know you're always welcome back home. Please learn from my mistakes and don't stay away from ever. Love, Mom. And yeah, it is a tin can, turpentine, and a Braxo cleaner. That's what I thought. All right. But anyways, that note for Nadine is part of our main quest here. We do need to give that to her once we find her. But for now, we are not looking for her. So we can go in there. Anything back over here? Besides a rad roach. Does not look like we can go up any. Oh, got another one. Really? There you go, buddy. Bunch of safes. I think we're safe in here now. So we can just loot. Now, why would they have bottle caps in here? That doesn't make any sense. Can we get into the terminal? Security updates. In compliance with our parent company, we are installing a new security system for our safe deposit customers. In addition to conventional tumbler locks, the new system will offer a keyless voice recognition lock alternative. Tellers are asked to encourage both existing and new safety deposit customers to sign up for the new service. So we need the second holotape to get into the security box. All tellers are reminded to be on the lookout for any customers attempting to exchange foreign currency. Civil Defense has asked us to be especially vigilant of customers possessing Chinese notes. Should you encounter such a customer, trigger the silent alarm and attempt to display the custom, delay the customer without arousing suspicion. Several large wire transfers today. We need to notify the feds in the morning. You'll need to replenish large bills. Payday is coming up. Another complaint about the voice activated locks in the safety deposit room. Dorothy came in to fetch Burns' will and we couldn't get the box open because his voice was the only one configured for authorization. I figure it's a long shot, but I told Dorothy to go home and see if she has any holotypes or such of Burn talking. We might get lucky and fold the lock into opening if we play it back in there. So that's supposed to be our clue about that, about getting into the back room. There we go. Ooh, nice, a lever action. I do like them. All right, nice. So let's see if we can get in here. Welcome to Thinkcom. Secure teller. Vocal authorization requested. Processing. Processing. Password verified. Voice ID mismatch. Access denied. User voice unauthorized. Access okay. denied. Uh oh. Okay. We're okay. I thought maybe something was going to set us off, but all we need to do is come here and go to this one. The audio password for my box is nevermore. Did that work? Processing. There Processing. we go. Voice ID confirmed. Access granted. Oh, so 
somebody was storing some expensive wine. I think we'll just leave that there for now. Anything else in here? Buff out. Somebody was holding on to drugs. So we need to come back and figure out how to get that one open. Can't get into that one. So what we need is, is it, which one was this one? No, that wasn't the one that opened up, was it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, we need to use the holotape to access the safety deposit box. 1207 at the Point Lookout Bank. Which one was 1207? That's 11. 2. Oh, wait a minute, that's 1119. The audio password for my box is nevermore. Ah, I see what I did. Go to the bank and use the password Xin Chan Wang. The software is configured to recognize only our voices. Did that work? Hmm. Processing. Processing. Voice ID confirmed. Access. Okay. So the backup tape was that one. Hmm, that's weird. What is on to oh okay. So we got some pre war money and another hollow tape, so let's listen to that. Agent Zhang, as you know, an important Chinese surveillance vessel was lost in American waters. Your mission is to destroy derelict submarine SSN dash three seven dash one A before the Americans can recover and analyze it. The recovery location is included in this dossier, and your cover ensures that the Americans will allow you access to their recovery operation. However, you will need an authorization code to trigger the self-destruct sequence. One of our field operatives in your area, Agent Yang, has these codes hidden in a dental capsule, but her current whereabouts are unknown. Locate and rendezvous with Agent Yang, then destroy the submarine. Report to your safe house for extraction information when the mission is complete. The will of the people protect you, Agent Yang. All right, well, the mystery deepens. So apparently we need to destroy a submarine, or that's what this guy was sent here to do. And to, I guess, we are going to complete his mission and reap the rewards that he would have been paid, I suppose. All right, well, let's see. Does it tell us where we need to go? It just says search for clues. So, what we need to do, we have a detention camp maybe the jet crash site that is such a long way away the little tight playhouse the flooded sinkhole and the trapper's shack but before we do that maybe I should I think what I'm gonna do is actually run over to the police department and see if we can get any information off of the terminal in here or not the to the naval recruiting center I mean since we didn't read this earlier it may be exactly what we're looking for now all right so our yang capture transfer Local community informants provided intelligence leading to the capture and arrest of a priority person of interest, Juan Yang, a.k.a. Five Claw Dragon. Yang is on file with DIA as a Chinese intelligence field agent, operating within American and Canadian over the past, operating in America 
and Canada over the past decade. Yang has been transferred to the Turtle Dove Detention Camp for interrogation. Our post office has so far declined comments to press to press and diplomats. Please have DOD relations advise regarding a public statement. Okay, and then this was just what the poster said. But we know now that it was named Five Claw. And there is our picture of them. We don't need that again. All right, so it looks like we do have the location that we need to go to. But I also want to head off towards that crashed lookout or the crashed jet plane but ooh, how long have we been going we've been going for quite a while all right guys well i think what i'm gonna do for the day is go ahead and start making my way over to the crashed jet and we will pick up there in the next episode i think we've done a good little bit of exploring for right now. We aren't going to be able to finish this whole DLC in one day. Obviously, it's, while not hugely long, it is, you know, it's got some parts. It's going to take us a couple of hours to complete. And definitely several, several episodes. So, I hope you guys are looking forward to that. But for now... Thank you all so very much for joining me today. I've been Valkyra. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope I see you in the next one.